Hello friends. I've made a decision on Big Red. We'll tell you what we're, we've decided here in a minute. But he pooped in my trailer. And not only did he poop, he, he had diarrhea. And so he's leaving the farm. Just kidding. If you like our videos, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and come along with Vicki and I as we head on a little road trip with Big Red and we'll let you know what we're doing. He had diarrhea and it went everywhere. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Yuck. He was not, I told him not to poop in the trailer and he did that. So he's leaving. Look at this, this is terrible. My new trailer. That is bad. Do you think he's sick? Uh, I don't know. I think he's just... Nervous about his trip. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, I would not do this if it wasn't a new trailer. <laughs> I have some bathrooms you can scrub inside. Oh, that is gross. That is gross. For those of you that know me know I'm a germaphobe. But hey, horse manure is not, not germy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I think I'll keep the scrub in the indoor toilets. And I don't use my hand. I'd a lot rather mess with horse poop than human poop. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> It's just recycled grass. Looks better. All right, Big Red, let's go. And I'm gonna go wash my hands. Or maybe I can just lick them. <laughs> You're sick. I know you well enough that you wouldn't dare. You're so strong, honey. Buff bananas. Yep. How many are you taking? I think just a couple for now. We'll see how he does. And then I can take more later. Some of you noticed me working with him the other day, and some of you had some some suggestions and pointers, and noticed that he was not really submitting, but was being a little belligerent and, and aggressive a little bit, not not to the point that I. He was being aggressive. I was scared. <laughs> I'll admit it. I was scared. They know it. They they commented. That's true, but. 
But anyway, um, I'm not a professional trainer. We love we love the farm life. We love buying and selling some horses. We love training horses, and and we're decent at it, but we're definitely not professionals. And so, as I kind of evaluated the situation, sorry, I'm looking under the phone sometimes to see my mirror. But anyway, as I evaluated the situation, I feel like he's worth putting some investment into as far as I'm gonna pay someone else that is a professional trainer to put some time in on him. And so that will free up some of my time to be able to work with some of the other horses that maybe I'm a little more comfortable with or that I feel like, I feel like my expertise is just taking a horse that's totally wild and calming it down, getting a halter on it, getting it gentle, building some trust. Blake's better at, at um, going to the next step, but he's so limited on time right now with basketball and just the short days. So anyway, Big Red's heading to Duet all around ranch horses. You've met Reeves before, and he did such a good job with the Palomino Colts just in four days, getting them gentle and leading. So I'm going to take Big Red there, and he's gonna put on 15 days we've agreed on, and if, if we're both pleased with the progress, then I'll I'll pay for another 15 days and we'll bring him home after a month. So that's the plan. And uh, like I say, some of you may think I should have done it myself. And I do want to learn. I want to progress. I want to get better. But I also know my limitations. And this will fit. And, and you know your time limitations. That's true. That's a huge one. Yeah, if I had time, if he was my only horse to work on right now, and I had time to do it every day, it would be a different story. But I have Rusty we've got to keep working on. We've got our Palomino stud colts. We've got the Gray and the Dunn. And... And, and, oh, and, and Booger. We, we have, have lots of horses We still. haven't even touched Booger for a long time. So, anyway, I feel good about this decision. I feel like he's worth investing some money and training into because he's such a beautiful horse. And so, let's see how it goes. We're heading to a place called Navajo, Arizona. It's not on the Navajo reservation, but it's bordering the reservation. Um, I don't know exactly why it's called Navajo. We'll ask Reeves when we're out here. I think there was a Navajo, um, what do you call it, fort back in the day or something. I may be totally wrong, we'll ask. But anyway, hopefully the background noise isn't too loud and hopefully I explained myself well enough. But that's where Big Red's headed, and we will be there in about 20 minutes. And I was excited that Big Red was headed out because we got to go on a date together and spend some time together. I have a good wife so. that's willing to call this a date, so. He has to buy me a soda, though. <laughs> that's my qualification for a date. That's about all there is out in Navajo. There's a gas, <laughs> there's a gas station, so I can buy you a soda. And then we'll head home. But a soda and a kiss at the end. Oh I'm good. man, this date's getting better all the time. So anyway, it's always fun to spend time with Vicky, and I'm excited to see how this works. Yep. I have a brother actually, Levi, that's a professional trainer also, and the fact that he's been paid to train horses and is awesome at it, I called him to see if he happened to have any any time. But he's a, a contractor also, and they're just swamped with work right now. So anyway, I'm excited to use Reeves and check them out. The Wentz All Around Ranch Horses on Facebook or Instagram. And you'll be able to see a video of Big Red and see how he progresses also. So here we go. that you're where the release is. That's why he was turning and trying to place that yeah. on you the whole time. Yeah, I think he's lazy and so he's like, if I just hurry and release then. Yeah, then I'm done with one. Yeah. 
so they're asking me to do, which she kind of does the same thing. She'll go around and mess with her quite a bit, and then when she's done, she just tries to turn and face up and come to you. And I'm going to grab the a warmer real quick. I brought one. I'm going to warm it real fast. That's good, Chad. Um, but he's a pretty thing, so it's like a, it's worth yeah, no, me putting some lucky. money into him to see what he turns out to do. See if I get some more negative comments for leading in front of horses. <laughs> oh, I got put a video on yesterday and I was leading in front of a guy. We got Hattie's. Oh, ball. I saw, I saw that one. Yeah, that was cool. Those lady, a uh, ladies. You can't lead in front of them. Oh, okay. People are so. Uh, so I sent her a Clinton Anderson video where he's doing it the whole time on the super gentle horse that he broke. Oh, really? Yeah. These are some of his studs. Those These are beautiful. Are yeah. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a nice horse. That's why I'm willing to. Put some time, or put some uh, investment into him. Very good, thank you. See, it's yeah, kind of hard to get him out of my space, you know. If he... There you go. Yeah, she was trying to get him to give to some pressure. Yeah. To not pay attention to them and to do what I'm asking. There you go. All right. Yeah, it's amazing all your studs right here, and they don't fight. Uh, the first day we came out, they all sniffed and squealed at each other, but they don't really fight. You know, I'd trade him for any one of these three <laughs> if you want. <laughs> well, you already took his away. How am I going to replace him then? <laughs> well, no. I... <laughs> you just have a nice gilding, though. Yeah, I, I told Reeves I'd trade him uh, that gilding for any one of these three studs, but he's not going for it. I don't know <laughs> why. So. They are beautiful. So during the winter months, you just go ahead and pin your studs together, huh? Yeah. Um, well, and if that mare wasn't here in the middle of the summer, I'd run them together too. Really? It helps teach them manners. That's good. Because, like, all of our mares and then our yearlings and stuff, they're turned out and run together. And so, studs, I think they don't have enough respect for other horses, and then they lose it for people because they've never had to be in the herd instinct. They're always treated like the monster in the back corner in his own pen and so that makes sense so what's your plan well tomorrow because <laughs> i don't want to get him too sweaty tonight yeah and make him sick and you just warmed him yeah <laughs> that's true we don't want him colic in the first no. night here but tomorrow i was going to get him in the round kit rail and run him around and then saddle him and see what he does that way if he still tries to buck with the saddle and then cool. go from there if i i'll probably get on him tomorrow but cool see what it does that'd be great well we'd love a, an update video but don't feel like you have to do nope. videos all nope. the time there'll probably be a video lynn likes to video all that'd the time be great. Yeah. well we're excited thank you so much this will be good agave is over there checking out the the new guy in town and you have some nice studs. All right. Well, let's go home. Let's go get you that soda I promised you so we can call this a date. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> it's your wife. Drive an hour for a date. <laughs> That's about all we, our dates consist of going and buying a horse lately or bringing one to get Somewhere. trained or do something. But anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, do you do Venmo? Yeah. We'll just Venmo you some money, so because I'd rather pay you. So it's six fifty a month, right? Yeah. So let's Venmo on them three twenty five. See how it's going in a couple weeks. So. Okay. All right.
Is it dead? Yeah, I got a jumper cable. Really, Alan? <laughs> what happened? I think I left the key on, but I don't know why it died that quick. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're not leaving. I hope not. Yeah, that would be bad. Wait, what did he ask? He asked if our alternator's gone bad. It shouldn't have died that quick. Are we in trouble? It's not even trying. No. That almost sounds like your alternator. You can't get me a soda if you can't drive a car. We're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can leave the horse trailer here. That's not a problem. I think. Can I leave it here? Um, it won't disappear. Yeah. So the. <laughs> If you don't, uh, Vicky and I are out here, yeah. So if if we could ride back with you somehow, all right, you're awesome. So we are stranded in Navajo for a while, so we're just gonna continue on our date here, I guess, for a little bit. Helen's helping do chores for a while. We're waiting for a friend to come pick us up, and we're not sure what's wrong with the suburban, but. We'll just get some extra video here and let you enjoy seeing the animals here in Navajo. Look at all this ice. Oh, did, here, let me show it. That's crazy. Arizona. What did you say it gets here? It was uh, negative two this morning. That's cold. It was Three degrees or five degrees this morning at home? Uh, eight this morning, three yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> this morning I went to haul water and I got a black tank in the back of my trailer and the water was splashing out. By the time I got there, I had icicles on the side of the trailer. <laughs> That's cold. And then the pump was uh, completely iced on the top. That is crazy. We just need moisture with this cold weather. Yeah. What do you think's wrong with it, babe? It won't start. <laughs> you are such a mechanic. <laughs> What do you guys, comment below, what do you think's wrong with our Suburban? It was totally fine. We turned it off and now it won't start. But it's not the battery. Well, Big Red, are you gonna come back and change horse? He's been a gentleman today, really. Yeah, he has. Well, thanks to YouTube and Reeves right there, we beat on the starter and got it started enough that we're gonna be able to get home. We're just not gonna turn it off. So YouTube's a good thing. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and Alan and I are gonna go get a soda and head home. Well, I'm sure glad we're headed home. Yeah. <laughs> and didn't I... have to pay our friends own a mechanic shop and we would have had to pay them to come get the car but they're very affordable but and this would be a lot more affordable <laughs> it's a drive at home we called him and he was only 10 miles out of town instead of coming 60 miles out of town so anyway it's freezing cold but we're in the car and headed back so yeah can't wait to see how it goes with big red so 
we forgot to ask Reeves why this is called Navajo, but we just stopped at the gas station and the sign said we were actually on Navajo River <laughs> Reservation. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, we have to abide by their rules like we could only have five people go in the store. That's why I had to wait outside in line. But we met some really nice YouTube friends and fans. It's yeah, so crazy. Yeah, that is so cool. We'll show you guys right now. But it was just fun to meet them and say hello to them. They walked up. I just stopped for fuel here in Navajo and we met some fans of YouTube. They said, hey, we watch your YouTube videos. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jamissa Mike. Jamissa? My name is Matthew James. And Matthew? James. James. Awesome, thank you for watching. And then there's the shy one. Oh, right there. All right, be watching for yourselves on YouTube tomorrow, all right? <laughs> they walked up and said, hey, we watch your videos. I was like, that is such an honor. Thanks for watching and like always, subscribe if you